I was like, why does dad have an attitude? She's like, he needs some pussy. I said, mom, and this is what it is. John Julio 1942. And when you mentioned period diarrhea, she was oh like, oh my God. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, sis is starting the episode. Go ahead, sis. Right. Um. Oh. Oh. Um. Muted. So You're muted again, sis. Your sound went away. It's okay. Hold on. Okay, while she's on mute, bitch, let's welcome our viewers. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of After Class the Queen's podcast. Today is just a little bit different as you probably heard. But what's so great is that we have all the OG queens up in the building. We got Jazz up in the building. Say what's, what's up? up? Hey, we got What is her I'm name? So used to, I'm so used to saying sis. I'm so used <laughs> to good. saying sis right here. We got Sammy up in the building. Say what's up? Hey, we got Ali up in the building. Say, say what's, what's up? up? Hey, and we do not have sis up in the building, but she's technically still is in the building. Mm -hmm. Um, she is on Zoom right now because she is in Atlanta, as we previously <laughs> talked about. Oop. Why don't you put yourself? Okay, can you put your? That's weird. Hmm. We're just trying to figure this out, everybody, because we wanted to make sure that even though sis was still in Atlanta, we still can upkeep the vibes of after class with all four of us being here so please excuse us for the technical difficulties we're trying to figure this out because we really want to make sure that we can stay consistent even though sis is in atlanta or if any of us is out of town we can you know still tap in or whatever <laughs> all right then why don't you oh. just why don't you call us again um once when you're in the nail salon and we'll try this again okay yeah i'll literally be in the nail salon in five minutes it's all right next door Perfect. all right okay great all right bye <laughs> Oh, and shit, I just kissed this thing. All right, bitch, we back in motherfucking action. Um, You know, technology or whatever. So it was Mother's Day. When was it Mother's Day? Sunday. This past Sunday. Yeah. Uh, and what'd y'all do? Happy Mother's, happy belated <laughs> Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there. Um, What is it? What, what are they, what do moms, what do they say about moms? Like the unseen heroes or the un... The silent heroes or something like silent that? Silent heroes, something like that. Invisible. But just, but just, we don't, I guess we just never really, mm, I mean, for us, I know we, we can see everything that our moms do and we can appreciate everything and we can just, I mean, I still don't know if we fully can see like all of the things that our mother so. has our There's mothers no have gone through for us. Right, right, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. We There's don't get no the way. full scope. We don't see the full scope, but I'm sure we have an idea. It's the little shit, bitch. It's the little fucking thing. That. Mm -hmm. The that little shit that kept us afloat. Right. That you yeah. didn't know that you needed that detail till you got older and you're like, damn, you were doing this yeah. the whole time. She's right. Like, I didn't you even know, know that existed. You, you know. know me? Right. Yeah. She's like, you never will know until you're a mom. Exactly. Yeah. So what y'all do for Mother's Day? I know, even though your mom your mom is in Miami, so what, how did you guys spend it? Well, we didn't spend it together, but obviously I spoke with her, and mm -hmm. I sent her a nice little surprise, and it showed up on her door, mm -hmm. and I did miss my mom. It was not, like, the most, like, enjoyable Mother's Day. Right. But I just was on FaceTime with her, like, any time I could, because mm -hmm. she actually worked Mother's Day. Mm. They don't really, her job, they don't really care to give you holidays off. Mm -hmm. It's if your time lands and you're off that day, then it's a coincidence unless you call out sick. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I didn't speak to her much on Sunday, but then the day after I did. Mm -hmm. And that's it. It wasn't like too crazy this year. Yeah. You Jazz, know? what did you do? What you guys do? I flew to Oakland. And that's for Mother's Day? Yeah, Damn. but a, a lot of things fall. Like my grandma's 88th birthday was a couple days ago. My brother graduates college in two days. And then my cousin turns 27 a day before my brother graduates. So we kind of just did like an all-inclusive mm. Mother's Day birthday graduation. Hey, bitch. Like Dang. whole family came in. So we got like some bomb ass Ooh. jerk chicken and catfish and shrimp mm. and mac and cheese and all that catered. and. Mm -hmm. Desserts and just had a whole ass a feast, bitch. Right. That and then the next delicious. morning, I went to the store and Chef Boy R Jazz and that bitch <laughs> cooked a motherfucking <laughs> breakfast for the squad. And then you cooked breakfast for everybody, bitch. Damn. Chef for the whole Boyard family. Jazz, ho. Like yes. So you did like a whole one bitch, time, I did or you did a whole... rolls? I did cinnamon mm -hmm. vanilla pancakes. Damn, you making me hungry. Bacon, a what? little fruit platter with some cream cheese dip. 
Mm. <laughs> Quarrel. <laughs> Milkshakes. Milkshakes. I did a lot. All the flavors. Now, was that yeah. just off of, was, were you, so where did all this come from? Because you don't get a whole meal like that from me. Yeah. What would you get Ever. from you? <laughs> Ever. Ever. What would we get from you? You know what I'm saying? I'm what would you have? You going to McDonald's some getting cereal, some cereal, bitch. Yeah. You go to McDonald's get a little burrito. <laughs> going to the drive through yeah. Send your order in the chat. Yeah, but in order for me to create this whole, especially for my whole family, mm. I'm the only one who hasn't seen everybody in over a year. Mm. My brother was living with my parents, so when people would go see them, they were all in the house or when everyone was still back in SAC or the Bay, it was easier for them to get together. And I was the most active and still working more. So, like, you need to stay your ass wherever the fuck you at. Right. But <laughs> not letting my ass come over. So now that right. I was able to see everybody, I was the You only wanted to one. do something special. Yeah, so I was like, okay, let me. Everyone was surprised. They're like, Jasmine, you're cooking. You're in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. They liked it? Well, they loved it. They were like, this is a whole... Full circle jazz. Woke Anything up early, store, everything. Yeah. Prepare They're it like, all. She's all grown up. Okay. <laughs> I was like, first of all, don't Any play me. <laughs> Anything specific for your mom though? Or um, or I you kind of just her, I mean, I did an all inclusive thing, but I right. have a little surprise for her when she gets back in town. Because she stayed mm. um to stay with her mom mm -hmm. for the week. So she'll be back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then I want to take her to this uh brunch spot that she absolutely loves. They have like really bomb French toast. And then I've been in the process of helping her redecorate her office and making a little safe space. Mm -hmm. So I have some pictures ordered and like this rug and a couch and all these things. And so I don't want to just do it without her because I don't know where the fuck her work shit goes. But I'm mm. going to sit and like redecorate all that and finally give her her little she shed, little peace corner mm -hmm. and make that her space. Mm. Mm. Yes. I, <clears throat> I took my mom, you guys probably saw, but I took my mom to... Calamigos Guest Ranch, where it's it's in Malibu. Well, I guess it's not technically Malibu. I think it's called like the Santa Monica Hills. It's like Agora Hills. It's the mm -hmm. hills that you go through to get to Malibu. Okay, and that's actually where we're getting married in December. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was actually the spot. It wasn't the spot that, it, but it was the spot that we looked at. Okay, they had so a, I saw your mom sitting there, and yeah. I was like, "Is this really?" I was like, "She wouldn't post that." No, like, she would not no, post. No, that. I was like, "Come on, rehearsal." Yeah, yeah. but no, that place is. Expensive. <laughs> that place is but it's so beautiful oh. oh my god like it's just it's a dream like it just it's it's a full-on ranch like this property and it's like there's cows there oh, yeah i post cows there's cows there horses there like just rabbits chickens like everything and usually i'm like bitch shit. i'm not fucking with that that's but what, that's yeah shit. i'm not fucking with that not the chickens. they got in control though they got them control right. they got them tanked all that <laughs> um They're but fair. it's just beautiful as far as nature nature and just being away from the city and feeling like you're out of California. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanted we she didn't spend the night with me. Tally had came afterwards, but I just wanted her to have a full day of just like paradise. Right. Um, I just feel like sometimes my mom, she don't be trusting me. Like I be wanting to give her a surprise. Like I'm not mm. telling you what we're doing. This is like just be ready at this time. Da -da 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 like I kind of and maybe I do that because I want that for myself. Like I want somebody who's good at planning to like yes, plan a whole right. day for me it's like i literally have no idea right. what i'm about to get myself into but anytime that i walk into surprise after surprise it's just like bam 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 you know that. yeah. and that's what i wanted to plan for her so i had like a whole massage plans and then after oh. that we had lunch by the pool and then yes. after that we drive to the beach club she wasn't having it Oh what? She was like, you better tell me what the fuck is going on oh. because I'm not trying to da -da 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 -da. like she wasn't she trying to do all that because she was on her shit. period. Oh. She was on her period. So I had her listen to our period episode and she was <laughs> fucking cracking up. She fucking loves <laughs> us. And when you mentioned period diarrhea, she was oh like Oh my god. Exactly. <laughs> How do you feel when our moms listen to our shit, bitch? Every time I, my mom I brings it up, I'm like, girl, which episode? Right. right. Which episode do you listen to? Because it's hit or miss, baby. You're going to learn a lot about me today. I know. I was like, mom, you sure you want to watch You're going to learn word? a lot about me, honey. I love it. She said that we're good. Because yeah. she's, a, she's a current, she's like a podcast listener. So she'd be, oh. listen, she be listening to podcast after podcast. So the pressure is on when it comes to her. But she was like, I can listen to you guys. Okay. Oh. Sometimes I can't relate to some of the topics that y'all be talking <laughs> oh, about. Like that pegging and shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but she was like, I, she, we're very entertaining okay. to her. We I'll are. take it. I'll we take are. it. We are. We are. I'll take it. Yeah. Thanks, Ma. Yeah. So it was a really good day. It was just a day for her to just not be a mom of a seven-year-old. You Ooh, know what I'm saying? Shit. 
and just like, you know, being the the wife around the house, like yeah. now we can actually hang out and be friends. friends. Right. Isn't that such a good feeling? It's such a good feeling. Like, so now I be talking wild in front of her. I used to not cuss in front of her. I used to not talk about sex around her. I used to not like, it used to be very conservative just mm-hmm. very conservative you know what i'm saying but my mom is not a conservative bitch if you're right. listening to this bitch you know who you know what i'm talking about okay okay you know exactly what i'm talking about it's fun now though that dynamic switched. i love that when my mom first like switched up and became home girl i was like oh, who it is really? but can you for real for real open up in front of her like could you tell her everything yes. that's that be going on yes we're getting there we're mm. baby I'm, steps i'm very very open like me in in all mm-hmm. aspects is genuinely me at the house and and all that other stuff it, i ain't gonna tell her like girl let me tell you about this little disappointment <laughs> like it's <laughs> really see i, I could do i think i, I could do that it's getting I there that. it's getting there because she's getting there with me and i'm like <laughs> <laughs> I, I, swear I, God, God, no, no. When my mom i would it not up, be able I'd be to like, accept please shut the I was like, why does dad have an attitude? So like, he needs some pussy. Please, Miss Girl. Miss Girl, Miss Girl, Miss Girl. I gotta go home. I have to drive my ass back to my own apartment now because if you thought I was gonna spend the night after you just told me that, no, I have to go. So she's comfortable in these streets. She has left mother. I think it's different for you because it's your mom and your dad. Damn. Woo! And they just be talking. Oh. My grandma, too. My oh, grandma shit. at her 88 year old self. You That's coming so to great. bed? For what? <laughs> talking about hang on honey we putting clothes on why why was it off <laughs> <laughs> what you but you have you know what though I will say you have to be happy for that mm-hmm. because that means that your Silently. parents and your grandparents are happy like they're still getting some mm-hmm. they're still living their life they're still just we like we don't gotta share on it <laughs> tell your friends I know I guess you I got think siblings different. tell your I'm siblings kidding, tell kidding. your friends no. If you can talk because about with Jordan, you know you're gonna be the exact same way. Absolutely, mm-hmm. right? Absolutely. <laughs> She's like, but I don't want to go through it. But I don't want to hear from my mom. <laughs> but I, I like that she views me as that too. That's a good feeling that she trusts me and that she feels like she did a good enough job nice. that she doesn't have to be mom role. So it's it's a nice feeling for me. Is the comfortability there for me to like talk about it? You see it on my Instagram. <laughs> okay. You see what I do. You see it all. You know how it goes down. Right. right. You see the steps. Right. I think I took that step with my mom. I kind of like told her, I'm like, okay, well, I'm not a child no more, so we're going to talk or not. And mm-hmm. then we just started talking. We went to go grab drinks. We went to the bars. We started Your going armpits. out more. <laughs> I love that for you. No, that's amazing. That's how we started. It yeah. wasn't her that introduced me. I said, "Mom, this is what it is," mm-hmm. and that's oh. it. We just kicked it off, and now I love going to the bar with my mom and just talking. Goals, about. okay. Twenty twenty one is happening. Let's go. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna get drunk. Yeah. Get, get a little drink, drink in, and then you my go. My mom can drink, bitch. My mom can it. drink. Mom can, I'd be like, dang, I'm gonna throw up. She'd be like, that's ghetto. That's raggedy. Right. You're right. not gonna be throwing up around. Now me. my mom be like, you just can't keep up. That's how my you mom don't need is. to be drinking. Then my mom be talking mom. to me like that still though. She's like, girl, you don't need another drink. I'm like, girl, I do. Okay. My mom On is what is she? What her her drink was Tito's and um Tito. soda water. Come on, mom, that's me. You lost me at the soda that's water. That's me. But my mama love a Tito's. Me and your mom could get a drink because I will wait, 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 wait. Actually, me and Yale's mom, she got me drunk. Mm. She I got me that. drunk like on his birthday. Mm. He's like, I took care of you. <laughs> I just, you, you, y'all already know how I feel about vodka. It's Anything disgusting. fucking vodka. Okay, look, absolutely it's a big disgusting. Ass no. It makes me want to fight. Absolutely Absolute disgusting. Absolute Tito, Ciroc, Ooh, any Tito's of those. Nice. Nasty, no. Tito's and Sprite. You know different liquors make you feel different shit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, vodka, I got an attitude problem. Hey. Oh. Oh, bitch. Is Ariane? Hmm? Hey. I can't, I can't see you guys, though. Okay, that's fine. Y'all, you don't need to see this. <laughs> <laughs> Just hear us. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear y'all. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so continue that. They that make just. you feel different shit. So vodka <laughs> makes a bitch want to fight. Mm-hmm. Tequila is hit or miss. Depending on what my emotion was earlier in the day will make me sway towards that. Damn, like if I'm tired you an emotional. Upset, I mean, we knew this. Talking about fighting? <laughs> but if I'm wearing... If no, I'm we talk about drinks. Drinks. But oh, okay. if I have dark liquor, I'm a spicy, activated, good time. Mm. Oh, you know, like that's, that's every sis. single anything dark, cognac, whiskey, anything, bitch, I'm activated. Let's get the forty. Thort it. Thort it. Go. Thort it. That's it. Everybody knows that sis's drink is Hennessy. Hennessy, right? I get it. Nigga drink from goddamn. Mm. I don't mind yes, it. Sir. <laughs> we gonna stop acting like Hennessy good. 
We gonna taste like, is good. It tastes like dirty pennies. Dirty pennies. <laughs> How do you know what dirty pennies taste like? It's just, oh, like in your mouth? It's just a Nah, she can oh, smell bitch. it. it I know like what a dirty penny, penny. smell like. <laughs> right. You smell it so much. The nose and the Ooh. mouth is connected. So if you if you can no, smell it, you know what it tastes like. Penny is the only drink that doesn't make me like They're like right. shake oh. after. I can just drink it and, we know, and I'm bitch. And no bitch lit ass time. Bitch, <laughs> I tell you one thing. I don't even want to talk about alcohol right now. Oh, oh damn. bitch, Don Julio, 1942, Ooh. bitch, for your birthday. That shit was smooth as fuck, wasn't it? Not See? that Don Julio, 1942. Okay. Oh, uh, shit, you slapped him. I don't like any tequila. <laughs> no? Tequila. 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 I can't tequila, do, tequila. I can't do no little tequila. tequila. I still got to try. I give it a give it like a second chance. Like? That rubbing alcohol shit? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Samantha Samantha alcohol. Samantha I like the little Tito's, you know what I'm saying? A little clear vodka. Sis, what'd you do for Mother's Day? Or did you send... Why am I going like this? <laughs> right. Because she's doing it. I'm going it. like this so she can try to... He- so she can hear me. Um, Did you... Did you... I know, you know, mom is in North Carolina or whatever. So did you send her anything? Or did y'all have a nice conversation? What happened on yeah, Mother's Day? Yeah, I, um, I talked to her and I sent her some flag- like flowers um, delivered to her. And, you know, she had a great Mother's Day with my family. So it was cool. But I, unfortunately... Um, didn't get to see her on Mother's Day, but she's about to come out here. So period. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, period. Yeah, period, period. Mama's lit. He's about to that. come out here. So oof. Um, this place is terrible. Sis, so when you stop talk, can if you're on if you put yourself on mute, you can still hear us, right? Yeah, just mute her mic. Yeah, you can can you hear us? Yes. Boom. Okay, that's good. Cause Perfect. I be hearing, I be hearing those being me. Right, right. I hear the being oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they said something. They heard us. They said it. Oh. I want to know. I want to know from all of you guys. What kind of mom do you want to be? Looking at, looking at our moms. Looking at our grandmothers. Looking at maybe our friends that are mo- mothers. Like, what kind of mom do you want to be? Do you want to be more of the friend type? Do you want to be more of like? discipline type but we mm-hmm. can still kick it but bitch you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. um do you want to be more of like i don't know just like grandmother nourishing type because i don't know i don't know if it's mm-hmm. maybe with like some older mm-hmm. with some older women who have kids they're just so like grandmotherly no. type like and it doesn't hold hand in it just oh. those moms that sometimes that us we know that we can't relate to them because yeah. maybe like of an age difference or i don't know yeah. it's just right or cool do you want to be the fucking cool mom? Like you could just go, you do, you gonna stay cool. I'm gonna be both. Yeah, cool and disciplined. Be both. You know what I'm saying? Cool I'll fuck you up, but we Look, can have, we can have fun. We gonna fight until you leave this damn house. Period. You because you're not gonna step on nobody's toes, but your damn self. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're not gonna pull some slick shit. I don't care mm-hmm. if you're trying to sneak it out. I'm, I already know what's coming up. I know the bullshit. Right. So I right. know the bullshit. I'm aware. So you. But I maybe will, it'll change because remember that right. remember those instances where our moms were like, "Bitch, I've been in your shoes. I I know exactly what you're trying to do. I've been there. I did it." And we're like, "No, how could you relate to this? Right? You cannot relate to this because you, so and so years old. And what if? And you know, times are definitely going to mm-hmm. change by the time that we have kids. So True. will it be the same or will it not? Maybe okay, certain well, things will be the same. But whether it's different, I want to be. I want to be yeah, yeah. the cool. I want to be a cool mom. Um, mm. just because. Now I am gonna like whoop my child's ass, okay. but the, the, <laughs> Thank you. Okay. the like, big, no. the big like <laughs> strict ass. discipline thing <laughs> is not. That's like not healthy for a. What are y'all laughing at? Me fucking jazz, jazz uh, pretending to whoop that? somebody's ass. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> nah, like the the strict discipline, like kids don't turn out good mm-hmm. when parents are like that because they feel like they have to walk on eggshells the entire time or around they their sneak families. around their and then they sneak around. Right. Okay. Exactly. So it's like, no, I, I want my kid to be able obviously you're not about to be out here like well while and out, but like I want you to Balance. that that whole like I don't know. There's just a lot of things that parents tend to parents tend to like sh- hide away from their kids and it's like that's not the reality of life like right. that, that's not the, i'm gonna be having conversations with my kids about mm-hmm. sex i'm gonna be having conversations with my kids oh, about sure. drugs like we're gonna be talking about that yeah because it's gonna happen mm-hmm. 
it's going to happen. So yeah, I don't He's know. I, just, I want to be the cool. I want to be the cool mom who just don't take no shit at the same time. Yeah. Right. The there same, we go. Yeah. I think that's all of us. I could relate. A, a good balance. balance. We need balance in our life. Bitch. What is one thing that you can that you can take from your mom and kind of implement it into how mm. you're going, how you are going to mother your child? What is like one thing? That you're like, damn, I either like that, let me take that on and, and use that, you know, when I'm a mom, or or damn, I respect that. I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? What's one thing? I like Mine how, was, oh wait, sis. Go ahead. What'd you say, Sammy? Go ahead, sis. Go, go, go. Mine would be, I'm just gonna go first just okay. so I can mute myself like right away. Um <laughs> mine would be <laughs> mine would be that I could talk to my mom about absolutely anything. Like absolutely anything so I just want my child I never want my child to be able to or to be afraid to tell me something you know like you know and, and, and if it's something that he or she needs to be punished for then we can talk about it then but I just I want I just want my kid to always feel comfortable like I always felt comfortable to go to my mom about anything and that's why we're so close like my mom, my mom is literally like my best friend. We do everything together. She just texted me the other night talking about some, I want to come to Magic City. So mm -hmm. we, you know, I, I want, I just want my kid to always feel comfortable because, right. you know, your parent, your parent, you should be able to go to your parent and talk about pretty much anything. That should be the person that you, you trust. So I think that's my biggest thing. I never want my kid to be scared. Right, yeah. right. Go ahead, Sammy. Damn, that was kind of like what? I was going to say, but adding on to it, I always want, I like what my mom does to me, like whether I have something to say, whether I'm going through it or something very exciting, she's always there for me. So I do want to be there for my child. And because um, I know a lot of moms, sometimes they neglect that side on a child. Believe it or not, a lot of people can't go to their moms and, you know, say all this uh, exciting news, all this horrible things because they're hmm. scared to one or they can't mm. they just you know the mom doesn't give enough mm. to care about what's going on in your life every single detail like i literally call my mom every day i'm so far from her and i'm happy that i get a phone call <laughs> every up. day <laughs> i just looked over area and bend it over <laughs> fucking that shit up oh my god <laughs> but yeah basically i want to be there for my child and it's like a nourishing way but not like you know like okay sweetie like i'm just gonna be here for you always no she always gives me advice and i want to give my child the advice that i can give him mm -hmm. or her mm -hmm. and um hopefully they can use it for their life mm -hmm. that. that's it yeah um a Jazz. mixture of the same but slightly different it's it was, this was specifically tailored to me because there's a difference between how my mom was consistent with me and my brother it worked better with my brother than it did for me um, one, she's super supportive, so that's something I want to take. Like, all of my dreams were always validated and right. always like, let's fucking go. Like, right. what do you need from me? We drive to Arizona for a little something. Right. Let's go. My I mom was that, in right. the car, packing the car up. Like, let's kick it. She right. Every weekend was dedicated to me, and we traveled everywhere for dance. So Yeah. Same. Yeah. One thing I feel like that would have helped our, our homegirl friendship now she would she would teeter back and forth with it when I was younger. And my parents always, 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 always said, I'm here if you need me. I'm here if you need me. I'm here if you need me. Like the door's open. And they didn't want to be too invasive. So with my brother, he was like, bet. Now I know right. I can go to you. For me, I kind of needed them to open the door a little bit more and initiate it. That way I could feel more comfortable because I was a little bit more timid. Mm -hmm. I knew it was there, but because they Maybe never for them to open up to you, yeah, maybe right. in That's a different way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the intentions were 100% there and there's obviously no way they would have known that because for my brother he's like oh well they said they're there for me so i'm gonna take it i'm gonna just go whenever i need to mm -hmm. and me i was like okay they said it but can i like can i because my parents was still on my ass like it was still mm, mother father right. and i was still kind of scared mm. so i was like if i say it are you gonna pop the shit on me like are we right. friends in this conversation or are you my mom in this car like ah. i need you to let me know before i get into this because i'm nervous I'm tell me, right i'm gonna tell you about the dumb shit that i did and you're going to spat. Right. Like, how there are you? <laughs> I don't want to get grounded, so I'm going to just shut the fuck up. Right. So oh I had my mom, like, after shit, she'd be like, oh, did you have a good time? And I'd be like, yeah. I needed her to be like, was you drinking? Was you smoking? Then I could be like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. And instead she was like, okay, you 
lot of good things. I'm kind of waiting minute. for me to do. Right. But, I mean, I know, my mom does all this shit still. Right. And so I knew she was doing it as a kid. So had she just initiated that mm-hmm. and gave me that little reference that she was doing it too, I'd have been like, oh, we cool. Yeah, when my mom we told cool. me that, mm. I did the same. Mm. But that's a personal thing. Like, she would have never known. She still, like, obviously was there. Mm-hmm. I was just, like, the scared one. Like, she's going to beat my ass. Oh, my gosh, she's going to beat my ass. So you want right. to be like that? Right. You want to be like I that? want to. Well, I just, you want to be the mom to give just a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, right. to let them know, like, I was wilding. Right. Uh, what she was doing. Right. Yeah, let me tell you. You're not going to tell right, me right, this? Right, right, Let me tell you, you about what the fuck. Let me call my bitch. own girl in so she could tell you tell what the fuck you, I did. Right. Too, then if I tell you, then you going to tell me. Just that's let a, them that's know. Actually, that's a, that's a very, very interesting perspective, mm-hmm. and that's what I want to take on. Like, show them that you're willing to talk about, yeah, what you have done, that you do be knowing these streets. You do know, you know what I'm saying, what's out there, whatever the situation is. I thought my mom was corny all this time up until I heard a couple stories. I was like, right. Hold up now. You out here worse than me, bitch. You a whole right. delinquent. Like, had I known, bitch, but we could have been smart. doing this shit together. Right. Bitch. <laughs> My mom, literally Mother's Day, she was like, I was like, what were y'all doing in the living room in our little one bedroom apartment when <gasps> I went to bed? Stop. I'm like, you probably was doing some crazy ass shit on that couch that I'd be laid up on <laughs> watching rug no. rats and shit. <laughs> no, she no, was like, sprawled all out, bitch. <laughs> butt cheek on what your she face was like, you? she was like she was like yeah you don't be knowing we did we were everywhere i was like <gasps> we did in a bathroom uh-uh. with all in of her kitchen. ones all of her ones you got somebody's butt cheek on your face somewhere <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fucking do, bitch. A little nut here and there. Um, they were cute, though. I, I do remember the men that she used to be bringing up in there. I do uh, remember. Cute. They were cute. Yeah, they were cute. Okay. She did it. Never mind. Uh, hey. Not the exposure. Yeah, yeah. not the exposure. <laughs> she like, Aaliyah, see, cut the podcast. I can literally see her face right now. Oh, she finna text your um, ass. But the one, well, the couple, maybe the few things that I can think of about my mom is that I remember when she was working late, oh, late, 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 late. I remember she was working three jobs. She would go to one job when I was in school, when I was in elementary school, while, like, maybe... While I was in after school program, she would be mm-hmm. in another job. Mm-hmm. And then when I'm home getting ready to go to sleep, she was at another one. She was right. working like three, four jobs. And I never knew, though. I never fucking knew because she still somehow like was still there. Right. You know what I mean? And I just think following that, even though we probably I didn't grow up in a rich family, we didn't have like money, 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 money. But I did grow up in a family where they were going to provide, Mm -hmm. they were going to do anything that they needed to provide anything it was that I needed. So all the extracurricular programs, dance, choir, classes, like everything that I wanted to be Mm -hmm. in (laughs) extracurricularly. Sound it up. (laughs) Syllable by syllable, baby. (laughs) Sis, don't be looking at me like that, bitch. You know you would have done the same thing. Say extracurricularly. Is that, is that a word? That's there's not no a word. Lead at the end. There's no Ex- lead. There's no lead. Baby. Extra curriculum. <laughs> Elect- it's oh. an extra cu- curriculum. Curricular curriculum. Look at Anything curriculum. that I wanted to do outside of my academics. <laughs> okay. Hey, there we go. That's better. <gasps> hobbies. F- hobbies. <laughs> We're fucking stupid, bitch. Come on, hobbies. <laughs> I want to show our audience Ew. that we educated. Fuck, bitch. Educated. And, and on back, <laughs> all this after they put a, comp- a compilation <laughs> of our dumbass shit. I oh. know. What education, baby? What education? Education. Education. No, but anything that I wanted to be in outside of my academics or whatever, I was in it, you know? Um, I, I'm not saying that I was spoiled, but moms did have it together to where I felt like we did have everything that we were rich we did have all the money in the world yeah that's a good childhood I think that's where my that's, abundance yeah, I think same. that's yeah. literally where my abundance comes from because yep. it's it was never now I wasn't spoiled if I was like bitch I want these did it in sunglasses put the clothes down if I wanted to go to limited right. too what was the fucking I love what that was the fucking Libby the Lou, stores justice Justice. All, Libby Lou, justice. When they did your little makeup and shit. Mm-hmm. Limited to Justice. And there was one called Zootopia. I don't yes. know if you remember Zootopia. I do, I do. Bitch. Couldn't get anything from there. I it know. was only Ross. Put it th- Ross, Old Navy. Um, TJ Maxx, Nordstrom Rack. <laughs> bitch. Burlington Coat Factory. <laughs> did you ever go to Payless? Same. Sis, yes. you too. Yeah, did Burlington. Did you ever go to Payless? Burlington. I did have a Payless moment. I had a Payless. <laughs> but then I had a time. I was, I was like, mom. Right. Oh, no, but I, I used to be upset. I found cute stuff at Payless. I, I was um, like, mom, please get me these shoes. She's like, okay, next time. Some Skechers, bitch. Right. Next right. time. Yeah, I found cute stuff at Payless. Yes. I still go to Burlington Co. Factory. Burlington is Come on. Come on. I go there for all my I go there for all of my hair products. You get them just cheap as fuck. Period. Okay, Come on, shout out. Wow. Yeah. 
yeah. no promo. Yeah. No promo, baby. No we promo. said enough. Bye. We said enough. <laughs> you guys, but you guys just said it. The unnecessary shit like Heelys, I couldn't get. Um, I didn't get a Heelys. I begged for them. Off. I, I, begged for, I begged. I begged. I can't talk today. I begged for Heelys too. I still didn't I get did, it. I did, but I was like, man, I probably would have busted my ass anyway. So, I did. Mm. Maybe it wasn't. I stole, I stole someone's Heelys out the locker room. That's how there I got Oh, oh my damn. God. Put yourself oh, on mute. Okay. <laughs> That was my cousin. My cousin <laughs> stayed stealing shit from me, bitch. Mm-hmm. Always. And I'm like, I mean, I know how hard my mom worked. She was like your mom. Three jobs here and there. And she would get me like cute little stuff. My cousin would come to my house. She had, oh my God, let me tell you this fucking story. Long story short, bitch. She went to my house and I was like, mom, I don't want her going to my room anymore. She keeps taking my shit and my new shit. And my mom thought I was just like, at that point, she didn't believe me. I don't know why, because I was little. I was like, mom, my cousin's. Uh, taking my shit and she has it in her purse. Go I check was that it. Cousin, and stealing shit. but wait, she didn't. She, she didn't believe me yet. I go to my <laughs> uncle's house and we're playing with our dolls. And she goes up and opens her bag and I see my shit in there. I'm like, mom, mom. So I go to the fucking living room and I'm like, mom, go look at Amanda's shit right now. Yeah, I told you. Go look at it right now. Are you are you an Amanda friends? Nah, I don't care. Oh, uh, <laughs> she's like, nah, I don't care. I don't this care. is for Amanda. So um, <laughs> whatever. Anyway. <laughs> hey, no, Samantha. T- so what did your mom do when she found... Bro, she... Fu- Sorry, I didn't mean to call you. Uh, no, you good. Call me like, throw shit. That's how I know you in it. I fucking hated because she went in and she checked it and then she goes to my uncle, hey, um, that sent me stuff. I literally just got it for her today and it's in Amanda's bag and my uncle lost it he's like what do you mean my daughter's not stealing and he went crazy Uh, and like they didn't talk for like years and finally we made up and everything's all good now but bitch I was like you see mom next time just believe me and then now from there on out is when she started believing me but I was like bitch she just took everything wow so did you did you smack a man I'm like, bro, what happened to Amanda? I'm like, did you repercussions? I just know. Nothing, huh? <laughs> no, I just, just like, like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean, I couldn't do shit because my uncle's very strict, so he'll beat my ass, too. Mm. And, uh, yeah, he was uh, that uncle. Um, but the point is now that your, yeah. mom will f- m- your mom will fight for you now. Yeah, she did. All the time, so we yeah. basically ran out the house because we were like, they were throwing rocks at us. <gasps> uh, no, off the Barbies. Yeah, off the Barbies, off the the lies. Oh, and it, shit. it was pure denial. It was pure fucking denial, throwing rocks at the car and shit. I was, and then I now she I got a back karma. On my, yeah, I'm what? sure she got a karma. What? Yeah, all the way. But I don't care. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she got a karma. I don't know. I just I re, you know I forgive you, but I don't care like for you right. like that anymore. Right. right. It's been like an ongoing situation and it still is to this day and I don't like really pay attention to any of it at this point. I think it's so important even even not that not that your mom did this, but it's mm-hmm. almost like when we have our kids, I can see moments where they'll maybe tell me something and I'll be like, you're just a kid. You don't fucking know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of like diving Listen. into that situation, diving in what they're talking about and like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Getting to the bottom of it. Yeah. That's instead of believing your child. Yeah. Instead like, of just like, passion. right. You I've know what I'm saying? Said, like with kids, like a 10 year old, for example, however old we are when we have our, our 10 year old with 40, whatever. Don't ever compare your 10-year-old's 10 years of experience to your 40 years of experience. There you go. Mm. So whatever mm. so stressful and so mm. traumatic, duh, bitch, they've been on this earth right. for 10 years. This really might be the most Believe traumatic it. situation of them 10 years. Mm. Why the fuck are you comparing it to your bills and mm-hmm. everything else? We're not talking mm. about you. Right. My, my my parents used to do that. I used to tell them all the time, like, you don't even know. Just wait. I'm Wait for what? I'm 10. We talk about right here, right now. I'm sad, bitch. <laughs> right. I am stressed out that you're not giving me these goddamn Heelys, and this is the most saddest day of my fucking life. Pay right. attention to me. Right. I don't right. care if it's dramatic to you. It's my reality. Mm-hmm. It is absolutely my reality. Right. That's a good one. I had to get on my mom about that. She didn't believe me that my arm was you broken know- in three places. <laughs> My arm was broken in three bitch. places, and my mom was like, "No, it ain't." My mom's Go favorite thing: Go drink put some water. Hot. My mom is <laughs> still tell me to drink some water, bitch. My, my mom broken like arm, bitch. Drink some water. Go lay down, uh, <laughs> bitch. My arm is the size of three arms, and I want to put a heel in. Like, bro, that sounds like Mika. That's how I Mika. was literally <laughs> just about. I literally had her in my head. My mom drink some water. Go lay down. <laughs> right. Oh my like, god. This girl that she finally took me to the hospital and I said, Mommy, what is them three lines on my arm? Those spots that was broken. She said, mm, go in the other room. <laughs> she didn't want to say she nothing. She didn't want to admit nothing. She said, You want some ice cream? <laughs> 
swear to God, we went to Baskin Robbins right after. A whole arm. I had to have a full arm cast to the top and a little mini one after two weeks of drinking water. I was so hydrated. My mom is still like that. She's like, take, uh, drink some Tylenol. You good? See, I was pissed. I was like, what? She's like, I, I go swear turn, I leave. Right. Go get that. tag her in this part. We need to re re bring that up. Go turn our regrets. Go right. lay down. Can nobody forget all that? Go get a snack. Right. Go lay down. Go get a snack. So triggered. <laughs> triggered. Go get a snack and lay down. I'm not fucking. Like, I'm bleeding. I'm <laughs> bleeding. A snack. <laughs> it's a snack. It's a, a fruit snack. pack. It's a fruit pack, a fruit cup, oh. a granola bar, the nasty dry snacks. Oh. I'm pissed. <laughs> Ew, I hated those shits. <laughs> Meanwhile, you got bones sticking out. <laughs> I'm on a call. Meanwhile, my face is swollen up. <laughs> okay. Like mom, I'm allergic. <laughs> Bitches all good. Just Drink rub some cream on it. Okay, I didn't like that. Mm. How's your nails going, sis? Let's see. Let's see what they work on. What color on. you got? What they doing? Yeah. Is it fucking up? They're doing my toes. She's massaging my feet right now. Let's Cute. see. Let's see. Yes. Get in there, Miss Girl. Get in there. Let's go, lay. Okay. Come on. Get the quads and the calves. Right. Man. I'm about to fall asleep. Damn. Damn. She doing good. <laughs> right. She doing real good. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> we're sweating, thinking about our traumas. Right. Mad I'm like, trauma, <laughs> straighten my hair. This shit is frizzy. Mm, um, shit. Let's go to what, what Rashad was saying um, at the beginning of this. So he was, he was, shout out to our moms, by the way. We love you guys. We mm. love you all, moms. Love you, moms. We don't know what it feels like to be moms yet. So check in with us in about <laughs> what like 10 20 year, years 10 15 years something like that see how we doing well i'll be moms hopefully ooh bitch um <laughs> let's go to what had rashad was saying about the difference between dependence codependence and interdependence and independence R and oh and four and four independence it was three, three. You didn't so what is it so what is it codependence interdependence Okay, can you get on the mic okay. and tell us the, the difference between the three so we can yes. so we can lay it out in our head? We know what the now, and are we talking about this in a relationship right. or are we? I was about to ask that. Yeah, yeah like yeah, there's yeah, many sis. things. Yeah, there's many. Yeah, so you kind of have to you have to draw it out for us. Um, slowly, slowly, yeah. slowly, 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 slowly for Jazz because sometimes she don't be getting shit right catch away. On. I don't catch on. She All be right. answering so quick. You bet. Right. She's like, okay. Will so, you uh... date somebody addicted to porn? Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Question not even over. Right. Question yes. not over. <laughs> Didn't even. Come on. It. Okay. Go ahead, Rashad. Explain. So the difference between it will it will be in more of a just you as people as women, uh, women of stature, women of influence. That the three of you are. Um, so it's interdependence, codependence, and dependence. Uh, dependent uh, is someone that is someone that is like dependent on their partner. So they need that partner to to function. Mm. Um, independence is, of course, you know, you're that that the whole movement that's going on right now for women anyway, the feminist movement. Uh, I'm independent. I don't need a man. I got all my own shit. Fuck all y'all niggas. Oh. That kind of shit. I love that. Well explained. <laughs> of course that one. one I love that, that one yeah <laughs> that one that one I yes, like that one subject. A. oh my god <laughs> and then interdependent is um someone that you have a partner you are or you're uh talking to someone that you don't need but you want them to be in your life you want you want to cohabitate with them to 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 build with them to take the world by force the two of you it's it's more of a, a, a partnership than anything else. Uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> partnership with love. Put it that way. Yeah. Uh, interdependence. Okay. Inter. Ooh, I need a little sheet. Okay. I, need a um, I think I'm that last. You're that so last you're one. What we are. Like I'm asking which ones more appealing okay. to you. Uh, at the current spot in your life. I already know which one Aaliyah is because she's getting married in December. Right. Congratulations. Thank um, you. But <laughs> which one is more is better for your life right now and which one would you want to Work pursue with? further on in your life? Okay, yeah. cute. Who's first? Thank you. Sis. Um, I would say, what's it called? Interdependence? Yes. The last one. Okay. I would say that because yes, like women love to say like, I'm independent, I'm independent, I'm independent. It's like, that's fine and all. You can be independent, but to be able to have someone that is 
that can provide for you, that can mm-hmm. spoil you, mm-hmm. that can do all of those things and you be able to do it back plus do it for yourself, yep. not need them, but just want that. Like, I feel like that that's the goal. It's like, this is actually really crazy. I was just having this conversation with um, someone like two days ago. I feel like I, I used to have the habit of being, being too independent. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I don't even Me want too. you, I don't know, just too independent. And there's, there's nothing, there's nothing attractive about that honestly like when you really when you find somebody that you're in a relationship with and they're just too they're too about themselves and too like yeah. I can do yeah. I can do this for me and I can do this for me and I don't need you and da, 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 da. for one mm-hmm. men love if we're just talking about men like men love to feel needed you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying so they love to feel like, like you providers. want them to do something for you you want them to provide for you you want and it doesn't mean that you can't provide for yourself it right. just means that you're both able to do something for each other. You know, whether I'm talking to somebody with not a lot of money or whether I'm talking to somebody with hella money, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it, I feel like that, that balance is important. Like if I'm talking to somebody with a whole bunch of money, I'm never, ever, 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 ever going to just be like, okay, well, I'm I'm not going to do anything. Like I have somebody that can take care of me and Mm -hmm. give me whatever I want. So I'm just going to sit on my ass. Like, Mm -hmm. no, I'm still going to be, the kind of woman that is going to work mm. for her own money okay. and then whatever you have is a plus you know what i'm saying and vice versa Absolutely. vice versa you mm. he, he works for no money and whatever i have is a plus so i just feel like the two independent and the two the two codependent is a negative thing you know yeah, i feel like you right. have to have like a good middle yeah. balance Definitely. The two. i agree 100 percent. yeah, yeah. Couldn't have said it better bitch. i think that's like spot because I, I was the same way too my dad and my man now would always say like you don't let people take care of you like you don't, mm-hmm. you don't let people do mm-hmm. things right mm-hmm. because I was but I was also like super super single for a long time so I developed that independent mindset and then mm-hmm. having to adjust out of that is it it's a process right because once you hustle for yourself for so long and you make your world about you yeah and you embrace your selfishness it is hard to kind of let someone in but Absolutely. once you do, issues. Ad- not even trust issues it's just I I almost developed the mindset of like, I genuinely don't want you here. Right. I Like, I want to do this by myself. I want to experience what I can do for me. And then. So in the beginning, it wasn't a bad thing because it was like, damn, bitch, we hustling for me. We doing what the fuck I need to do. But then once you do naturally navigate towards someone and you have someone there who also wants to take care of you, it could seem like you just stiff arm and they ass away when you're like, no, no, no. All right. day. You're like, well, damn, bitch, like, do you want me? Right. <laughs> so I think yeah. there's a balance of where. I'll use my personal life right now. I'm still very selfish and focused on me. He's still very focused on him, but we have that understanding that the things that we can do for each other, we will do and we will accept with, with love, but we have separate things as well right now. Very nice. I don't know what category that is. I'm going to make my own up. Um, <laughs> it's, it's almost <laughs> interdependent. Almost. It's, it's, it's getting there. It's, it's independent it's, right. and then a little bit of inter. Yeah, because we still have things that I, I still want to do for me, but I'm also not pushing you out the picture. If you want to do something for me, I'm never going to say, no, fuck you, don't do it. You know, if you're able to do it and I'm able to do it for you, we will absolutely do it. Now, when when we get to where it, whatever the fuck it needs to be, then it'll be mm. that nice balance of of the definition. I'm not inter? About, of inter? Yes, thank yeah, you. <laughs> of interdependence. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I think it's a process of, of where we are. It's okay to be fully independent if you're mm-hmm. going to stand by that for yourself and you're trying to build yourself up. But if someone does want to <clears> do something <throat> for you, you know, like it's not. But bitch, let right. me propose fucking this. Oh, big God. ass. You know, I'd be confused. <laughs> let me propose. You're gonna throw me off. Huh? Let right. me propose this because Plot while twist. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about my relationship with Tally, and yes, the interdependent obviously is like where I'm at. But I'd be damn dependent on some things though. <laughs> like shit, if if I can't do, if I can't figure out how to open up this lock with this fucking key because I can't figure out simple shit, I'm wildly dependent on Tally for for him but to figure it out for. Or is that still that balance? Like what he mm. can do, you let him do. But I feel yeah, like I'm balance. Inter- I feel mm-hmm. like I'm maybe I'm interdependent, like in general. But I can definitely be. De- I can definitely be independent. I can definitely in some areas. I could be dependent in some areas, and I could be whatever the other one was inter- yeah. in some areas as well. So let's think about that. Like, are you interdependent full scope three sixty? Mm-hmm. Are you independent three sixty? Are you dependent three sixty? Or can we be all of them? I feel like inter- in some ways is three sixty in my mind. Oh wait, is interdependent not the is not 
That's why I feel like it's all inclusive. No, Rashad, interdependent. Yeah. Interdependent is. Can you explain the definition again? Um, you know we confused. Because you know what I. But de- <laughs> you're here. <Go> ahead. Yeah. <laughs> we be you know I try to throw a wrench you in there. Do. You right. know, like, 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 so, yeah, I thought. So which I one do you want the definition to? It's, it's both. Yeah, I one. thought it was all inclusive. Yeah, that is the three hundred and sixty. <laughs> That's the package that we purchased. Say say the definition of interdependent again. Interdependent is what they just said. Like it's it's all inclusive one. Like yeah. you don't. You like uh you don't need the person that's in your life right now that that whoever that person is, but you want them there. It's like I wouldn't say it's a perfect balance, but it's more of like a um I a think partnership it, than anything. Uh, uh yeah. A, it's a, a collaboration. Yes, a, yeah. su- a successful <laughs> partnership that it is. it is a collaboration. Yeah, it's a it's a collaboration of, yeah. of sorts. Like it's the the best of all worlds, but put it that way. Because right. like so you, you don't need <laughs> right. you don't need this person, but them being there is the addition to your life that makes it that much better and easier, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Because if easier. Tally wasn't there, you was gonna find a way to get the shit out. Like you was gonna figure it out. You wasn't just up? gonna let it not happen, right? Would you just so that I, like now that he is there, you allow him to. But if he wasn't, the shit would have got done, right? Yeah. Right. So okay. He, Hmm. The all-inclusive package, drinks and all. I think, I think, <laughs> I think, um, I think for me, I noticed, I actually noticed this the other night. Like, there's certain things where I struggle with with allowing people like to help. It's not the financial. It's it's the emotional. The emotional. The emotional. No, oh, bitch, it's like mine. just doing things. Like when I moved into my apartment, I don't want nobody to help me. I'll do it myself. Mm-hmm. Like when I. No, see, that's where I'm dependent. I, I went to dinner the other night, and my friend, my friend, you said what? Aliyah said, no, she's I said, like, I don't let people do it. That's where I'm dependent. Can you grab that box? I don't want, I, no, I can't, yes. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do any of, like, any of those, Man, not just physical no, things, same. but just mm. things that I can't figure out on my own, or I just I don't, don't want to. I do feel like I'm, I'm, well, yeah, I, I mean, feel like I'm everything. Perfectly. There is certain things that, yeah, there's, but that's just, that's a thing where I'm, like, literally, like, I'll never ask anybody for help. Like, that's just. I don't know. I've just always been that way. Like when it comes to night, what, sis? Though when night, it, I went to dinner with, doing the, with a friend. We, we said what? Like, what are you saying that you? you say? What are you saying that you can't? That you'll never allow somebody else to do for help? Well, I'm not saying never. I'm oh. just saying that that is something that I struggled with. Is like I would never. I just would never have help. Like I would never ask mm-hmm. for help. I would just figure it out on my own. Like that would mm. just be something mm. that just I would in do. general. But even even something as simple as. I noticed the other night I went to dinner with a friend and he like walked me. Um, he walked me to my car. And as we were walking to the car, I was like, what are you doing? And he was like, I'm walking you to your car. And I was like, oh, I was like, I can walk to my own car. Like, oh. I don't know. <laughs> there's just certain, <laughs> there's just certain things that I'm just kind of like, it's a habit. It's, mm-hmm. it's not that I don't want or, or want. It's just a habit of, I find myself doing things alone and not really asking anybody for help or when they do help or when they do give me something or when they give me money or when they give me other things I'm so like it's so weird for me because I'm not that kind of person Mm -hmm. but as I'm getting older I you know I've become a good balance because like I was saying earlier like I used to be so independent and it's like that's not that's not really a healthy that's not a healthy thing to be you know you can be independent healthy like in in a good way you know yes of course we all got our own we can do this we can pay our own bills but all of that is great that's independent you're an independent woman but to the point where you're not able to like allow someone else in to to do all of those things with you or to do all of those things for you once in a while like that's when it's like that's where I'm going getting at now where it's Mm. like okay Ariana like you should allow this person to do this for you you should even if it's something as simple as getting your nails done here go get your nails done it's like before like i would be like huh like i can get my i don't need you to take my nail i get my own nails done you know what i'm saying like little little things like that i would feel like i can't accept it because i'm independent i don't want you to feel like i need you to pay for my nails like that's where that was the place that it was coming from and it's like Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe they just want to pay for your nails bitch right maybe they just want to do this for you maybe they just want to you know so got it that's exactly what Tally and I had to work on. Like anytime that we were, 
yep. wanting to do something for each other and the other one the other person will be like no 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 it's okay it's okay like it just it's yep. not even not exactly. even in the vein not even in the vein of like oh no I, I could do my own da, da, da. it would just be like no it's okay because I would feel like I'm inconveniencing mm -hmm. him if he were to do this yeah. for me but then I feel like all of us have to think about it in a way where it's like don't block the blessing Maybe this is Absolutely. maybe this is your blessing. Tally is here to come change your tire. He fucking drove an hour to be here to change your tire. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 it's OK. Let me just take you out instead or let me do this. I'll find somebody else. Da, 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 da. Don't block that blessing, because guess what? A blessing is going to come to him for for giving me to my blessing. It. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's also love yeah. to like, I think in relationship standpoints, I had to realize maybe that's their love language and how they are choosing to show that they love me. Mm -hmm. And maybe if that's not necessarily my love language and how, what I would do for someone, now mm -hmm. that it creates a conflict and like, well, you don't let me care for you. Don't let me do something. And it hits a deeper kind of hurt for them because they think that that is at their one way of how they express their love for you. Like, I want to buy you gifts. I, I want to do this. This is how I sh like my mom. Mm -hmm. Her love language is acts of service and doing things. And so when I would reject it, she'd be like, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? And I'm like, nothing. But for her, like, oh, I had a bad day. She would want to give me something. And so it almost That's makes me. them take it personally. So like blessing, yes. And then two, when you take it to a step uh, further, when you're romantically involved with someone, you, you maybe you just have to adapt to the way that they show their love and the way you want to show their love. So if you're telling someone like, you're so beautiful, you're so beautiful, like, ew, stop, shut up. You're going to be like, damn, I'm trying to tell you you're fucking pretty. Don't take it. Yeah. You know? And then you get an attitude. But in your exactly. mind, you're like, I'm trying to fucking love you in the way that I know how to love mm -hmm. you. And you are really rejecting exactly. the fuck out of it. And I, mm. it creates a deeper conflict. Then let them do it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Cause guess what? Once when you start once when you feel uncomfortable receiving that act of service, you're so beautiful, you're so beautiful, or don't buy me this, don't buy me this. When it comes time for that birthday or Christmas and you don't get shit and you don't get shit, don't tell me you're gonna be confused. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> I tried to buy you a gift two weeks ago and you said don't ever buy me shit okay. again. And I don't didn't. Don't tell me nothing. So y'all gotta be careful. Anybody who's listening or anybody who's watching, you gotta be it. Keep that same energy. <laughs> you got to keep that same energy or You'd you so really hurt. have to communicate. Why is it? Why is it? It's not that you're kind of just rejecting it, but maybe you just feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You're not used to taking it or you're not you're not used to receiving this kind of. That's more so what it is. Yeah. Active service. Like you, but you got to come out of your normal. Yeah, yeah, it's out of your normal. So you have to communicate that yes. to your partner if you feel safe enough or whatever. If you feel like this is just a one and go, whatever. Mm -hmm. But if this is someone that you are going to commit yourself to for a certain amount of time, yeah. it's important that you communicate how it is that you have been programmed. Yeah. Now you just have to wipe your clean you, you wipe the slate clean you know what i mean meet them where, yeah. they're, at. Meet them them where they're at you. i exactly. think exactly actually yay and i never like struggled in that sense mm -hmm. but like that's, that's where we actually got um along most of the part because we were both uh working independently and emotionally we were just independent people and when we got together we both kind of got to this point where we agreed that you are going to do the best for yourself and I'm going to do the best for myself. But we can provide for each other emotionally, physically, whatever that means for you. But we can provide uh, dependence and I'm here for you and I'm going to be your woman at the end of the day. Like I'm not going to like block anything you're trying to give me emotionally. Like I'm going to be here for you if you need help. I'm going to be here for you if you're sad. So I don't think we've ever struggled in that sense. So we're definitely interdependent but i feel like we balanced ourselves out because we're definitely very independent but we can just depend on each other like hey what do you need how do you feel today like do you or for like a surprise like oh you're beautiful today here are right. some roses right and like shit right. i'll take it right i'll yeah. take it do you want to do some for, something for me sure why not like right. i yeah. can do both right. i can do both easily and so can he and that's what i think we connect the most is that we can easily just be like all right go do your own thing okay well i'll see you tonight and then when we go on a day we're like oh my god honey you're so beautiful i love you today and all that stuff mm -hmm. so i think it's definitely like balanced is mm -hmm. what matters the most mm -hmm. for sure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's yeah in my head i was just thinking and i guess de saying dependent in place of being open to receiving yes. is like a little too dramatic. Yeah. Right. Um, okay, so that's so that's where I meant. Like I will be in a place where I'll let my man be my man. Period. Period. 
be my you know man, saying, honey boo. But it's not depend. I guess it's not dependency. Yes, yeah. that's a um, triggering word, right? Yeah, the pen, the pen, the pen, the So, um, I want y'all to think about that. I want you guys to, um. Just kind of analyze each one and figure out which one are you. And maybe that'll help now. Wait, hold on. I was going to say, maybe that'll help you, you know, with your partner right now or finding your partner. But if you're interdependent, but your partner is something, one of the other three. Oh, hmm, shit. That's, is, a, whole that's a whole different story, baby. ain't it? That's part it's two. It's a whole different story. If Damn. you're interdependent, but your partner is coming in. He's I independent or whatever, come. and you're like, and he's ready for you to depend on him. No, ma'am. No, you know what I'm saying. Damn, that's <laughs> we should have talked Absolutely about that, not. bitch, because that's a different relationship. Because y'all gotta right, yeah, y'all gotta be on the same different. page. Or what if they're super dependent on you? Mm. <gasps> oh no, you can't go. For it. <laughs> Don't ooh. yeah, I don't know. That's both of those are unattractive. Yeah, both of those are. Unattractive. We're not even gonna talk about but it. I'm yeah. gonna let you go. I can't even fathom. I'm gonna let you go. But you won't find out until y'all are deep into it. Hell maybe, no. Maybe maybe he. You know. You know. what I'm saying the honeymoon phase or whatever. You no. guys accommodate each other to make it work. But once one y'all pass that Mm-mm. line to where it's like we've been talking for a little bit. Ooh, and then you find, and then you find out, right? And then you find out that he's a different one of the three. Mm. I'm sorry, we what might do break you do up. Then? Say bye. Um, we won't get to the honeymoon yeah. phase, honey. Assess if you I gotta can deal know. with it. Bitch. I gotta know. So is this something that we talk about, like, from the jump, bitch? Like yep. on our, like, you know, first started dating. Like, do we let him know, like, hey, this is the type of woman that I am. I'm. I categorize myself as interdependent. People lie, meaning. bitch. You right. can, yeah, right. you can right. fake the funk they, for a cute people, amount of time. That's but when what I'm you saying. Get, see, like, when you think about when you move in together, then you all of a sudden hear brand new bitch. <laughs> like, all this time. Like, think about it, though. You plan Hell to no. see each other. So if yeah. he knows you're coming over, the house is spotless. Smells great. You got a mm. candle and incense. Laundry done. Mm. Dishes away. You move in and you realize you got two months worth of dishes and your funky drawers in the corner for the past <laughs> two and a half weeks. Where was the bitch I was dating to? Like, right. Oh, At the house. sir, I'm not your mom. I'm gonna call your mm-hmm. mom. She needs right. to. I still. Yeah. But would a that man happens. go? Would a man go through all of that? Yes. Too? Yes. 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 Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, He'll ma'am. sweat. You should see Rashad's face. These bitches too, though. We're not excluded. Right. I know okay. bitches. Yeah, who, yeah who, the bitches like, too. I would see the bitches rather than that. Oh, I'm this and that. You start dating a man, you're like, so where's this? Where's this? Mm-hmm. They yes. think you're all I independent. I was just about to say that. I think that's more with women. They think you have you present yourself as a strong, independent woman, and you attract this strong, independent, financially whatever the fuck man. Y'all moving together and now you just need him bitch mm. from beginning to end and he's gonna be like mm. fucking peasant get the fuck out you know yeah because that's what the fuck <laughs> i'd be like oh sir you need to move out and find your own home because this is never gonna work right <laughs> absolutely oh, not shit you are off the- <laughs> it's gonna be my name on the lease so that way i can kick your ass no for way. real always so i for can real. kick your this my house sir right so where are you going tonight <laughs> Right. Yeah, that's the. Where that's are you, you going? going? So, what you got planned from here on out? <laughs> oh my God, stop! I did that. What time did you think that. about heading out? Okay, so, um, I'm, I'm giving going you. To sleep. I'm giving you a few hours. Yeah, you gotta get up. Ain't no couch. I know that's right. Mm-mm. Oh my goodness. Not in, in these streets. streets. Right. Not in these streets. <laughs> well, thankfully, we don't have to deal with that. Okay. Period. Because we have good, we have good, strong judgment. I just feel like we can, we're energy people. I feel like we can, we can see that. Spot it. We can see when something There's is giveaways. for real, when something's well, after, you, after you talk to somebody for a while and kick it with somebody for a while, you start to pick up on those yes. characteristics. When she like, you start up. to pick up on those things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's That's not adding up, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Like, mm. your breath is funky. Oh. You, you're fucking... Okay. You, there's no, Ooh, like, good nails smell. Dirty. But then, yeah, I go to your apartment, it's all spick and span. Oh, hell no. Mm. It you smell like, mm. like, smell like booty. You smell like booty. On that Ew. note, y'all talk about it amongst yourselves. Let us know mm. what you think in the comments. <laughs> Sis, I love you for joining us from Atlanta. Per- yes. Per- per- so you y'all got, so- you got a good time. I wasn't drunk or none of that. Right. <laughs> nice. So you got to keep your Wednesdays open. Period. Oop. Oop. Okay. Oh. <laughs> She said this uh, every now and then. This is every now and then. I'm a guest star. This was a one time. I'm very a guest star now. Uh, Thank you. Hey, it's easy. It's easy to just pull it up on my phone. Right, exactly. Um, We love you. We're about to close, all right? Hey, love you guys. Love you. you. Y'all can can text me or call me so we can talk about 
was really going on in Atlanta. Oh, oh God. Uh, okay. Don't say that for our for our viewers and our, and our uh, listeners. <laughs> they don't want to know what's going on. Yeah, we want to DM you. Right. Hey, friend. So on the- Look out for all of your DMs, yeah, man. Right. Next right. podcast, can right. be like, what's really going on? Right. Yep. <laughs> we Bye. got Jazz up in the building say hey, goodbye. Up? Hey, we got Whammy up in the building say, say goodbye. goodbye. Hey, we got Sis up in the building say, say goodbye. goodbye. Hey, we got Ali up in the building say, say goodbye. Bye. Hey, join us next time next week on After Class of Queens podcast. Thank you guys so much, so much for listening and joining with us. Um, what did I want to say? I want to like. be make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the alarm button so you know when. A new episode drops. She's a YouTuber. I'm going to work on that. (laughs) We'll see y'all soon. (laughs) Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.